Hey, welcome. This is Joe from English Today. There's a lot of bad information going around at the moment concerning coronavirus or COVID-19. And this is of uh, concern to us at English Today. So we thought we'd make this series to help you and your family keep updated rather than listen to dangerous gossip or fake news. Uh, the fake news that's going around at the moment can be quite harmful to you and your family. So we think it's very important for you to get reliable, factual information. So that's the uh, the Jakar Jakarta's COVID-19 hotline. Uh, remember, this is for Jakarta only. If you're not living in Jakarta, you may need to consider um, finding what numbers apply to your area or region. Yeah, these numbers for Jakarta only. Keep that in mind. So do the following. If you experience symptoms of COVID-19, call the hotline. Wear masks, surgical masks are preferable and replace them regularly. Uh, limit receiving guests at your home, uh, especially face to face. Be careful. Do not leave your home if you don't have to. Keep your distance. Two meters is the recommended distance. Ask friends, family members or other services to help you with matters that's outside the home. Uh, and if we all do this for 14 days, we really will reduce the spread of the virus. There's absolutely no doubt. Uh, now, this was updated on the 26th, so it will probably be outdated by the time you see it. But currently, 893 confirmed cases with 78 deaths. That's quite high, and we need to do something. Currently, there is no specific medications for patients with COVID-19. Um, now, I, I'm sorry with some of the, the grammar here. Uh, I did take this from the Jakarta website, but... Uh, it remains true, yeah? So the motto, keep two meters distance to keep safe our existence. Keep two meters distance to keep safe our existence. Repeat it like a mantra. It's important. So, consider how it spreads and the controls that I used. This is an example of no control. This is just a population going about its normal business. And you can see how the infection has spread throughout very easily. Now, consider a different scenario. A scenario where there's a border. The border being self-isolation. But the self-isolation is not taken seriously. And so people begin roaming. And as you can see, it quickly turns into a fairly similar scenario. Pretty much the same as having no controls, really. I'm sure you would agree. A worrying scenario. So, let's consider mm, three quarters control. So, three quarters of people are practicing social distancing now. You can see quite a dramatic, quite a dramatic difference. Yeah, uh, look at the top. The, the rise. It's a, a lot shallower. A lot fewer people being infected. This is the power of social isolation. This is what we should aim for. Now, that, that's just three quarters. Now, what about one in eight people isolating, practicing social distancing? I'm sure you can see the dramatic difference. L look at the scale above, too. It barely registers. That's the difference. This is why in Indonesia we must, must aim towards social distancing. Now, complying with this, uh, have a look at the top. If 70% of people comply with physical distancing guidelines, 70%, it's still not good enough. Look how fast it rises. If 80% comply, however, something amazing happens. So that's it really for this video. Uh, on behalf of English Today and all the team, we wish you all the very best for you and your family. Stay healthy, stay strong. We'll get through this together. Don't panic, don't be afraid. It's okay. We'll support each other and we'll be there together. We can do this. Take care.